Close your eyes and be sensitive to your breath. When it comes in, where do you feel it? When it goes out, where do you feel it? Focus your attention where the breath is most easily observed, and just stay right there. You're developing good qualities in the mind as you stay here. Mindfulness is what keeps the breath in mind. Alertness is watches what watches what you're doing. Ardency is the desire to do this well. And of those three, ardency is the wisdom factor. You can remember things, and they can be good or bad. You can be alert to things that can be useless or useful. But ardency really wants to do this well. It realizes that the good things in life come from effort. When we're born, we've got some good things that come from our past efforts, but of course we've forgotten them. This is why people get lazy, especially if they're born into good circumstances. They feel they, these are just a natural part of the world. Well, they are natural, but they come only to some people, people who have developed merit in the past. This is why the Buddha said this is a form of, of a blessing and a protection, having done merit in the past. But you can't just rely on your past merit. You have to think about the merit you're going to build this time around, too, because otherwise you use it all up. And then you fall back down. You find that there are other conditions in the world that can be very natural as well that are not quite so nice. So people are heedful, realize that they have to keep on being meritorious. And we're fortunate we have the opportunities to do this. I've had experience going to places where there haven't been any Buddhist monks for a long time. And you happen to have some Thai people there, and they come running up because they haven't had a chance to make merit for years. Here we have the opportunity. Every day we can come. Of course, you don't have to come to a monastery in order to make merit. Because merit is not just being generous, it's merit in being virtuous, observing the precepts, and in meditating. So these are the qualities that keep us on the human level. So that when we realize that these are the causes for the good fortune we have, okay, we, we keep on doing them, doing them, doing them. And then we raise our sights. What would be better than just staying on the human realm, the, the Deva realms? And then, of course, there's Nirvana, the ultimate happiness. Unfortunately, all these activities are conducive to all three kinds of good, good fortune, a good human birth, a heavenly birth, and the attainment of nirvana. So we focus on these activities as a regular part of the day. Make them a regular part of your life. Keep them a regular part of your life. And be happy that you're focusing on the causes. When the causes are good, they're bound to give good results. You may not know when or where they're going to yield the results, but you know that you're creating goodness. And that can make you happy right now. As the Buddha said, acts of merit are good not only in their results, but also in the happiness and the fact that you're doing them. It feels good to be generous. It feels good to be virtuous. It feels good to meditate and develop good qualities in the mind. So it's a happiness that's happy in the anticipation, happy in the doing and happy in the reflection afterwards. And it's hard to find a happiness that's like that. A lot of times you have to do something dishonest to gain some kinds of pleasures. Or there are pleasures that when you do them you realize that your quality, the quality of your mind has deteriorated. But the happiness that comes from merit, as I said, is happy and thinking about you wanting to do it, when you do it, and then looking at the results that come after it's done. All these things make you happy. And a life spent making merit, developing the perfections, is a life well spent. It's an auspicious birth, and it leads to other auspicious births. It leads to happiness all along the way. <laughs>